Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, this is a video of my new axolotls that I got a few days ago, but I had to take one of them back because it had a mouth deformity. So, now that I have all three of them, I will show you them. So, first off, I have one of my normals or wild types or whatever you want to call it. I'll try and cover up the glare. Um, yeah, he's right there. Um, he has one missing limb on the back, but it'll grow back. It's already started to grow back. It's just a few fingers that he's missing. Um, and then, back there, I have a leucistic axolotl. And it has really nice pink gills, black eyes, looks really nice. Um, it's missing a few fingers on its front two um, legs, I guess. Um, but they will all grow back. It's perfectly fine. It's really hard to find any baby axolotls with all their limbs because they usually fight a little bit and get them cut off. Um, and then the new one, he is perfect pretty much. Um, he has no missing limbs, um, nothing like that. Looks really nice. Um, nice gills. Everything looks pretty good. So hopefully I will do a feeding video of these soon. And, um, yeah, these guys are really cool. Um, these guys need no special lighting. Um, gravel is safer, um, but sand is okay. It just might cause impaction. Um, the only reason why I have sand is there is because I couldn't get it all out. Um, because I did have sand in here. Um, but it's perfectly fine for them as long as they don't ingest it. Yeah, just to kind of go over the setup, uh, it's a 40 gallon breeder, and duh, stupid glare, a uh, 40 gallon breeder with um, fake plant over there, and my little filter to help cause not that much water movement, because these guys do not like water movement. Um, I have a pump back in the corner, back there, with foam around it. And that just kind of acts as a filter, I guess. Um, and it pumps water up and over and out to that little waterfall. Um, which also creates biofiltration and all that good stuff. Um, and it looks really nice. Then I have fake log foam with the plant in it. Another piece of foam with the plant in it big piece of foam just for kind of decorations and some caves and stuff just to let them hide in and also have it filled up close to the top so they can kind of rest there if they want to and I will get some new plants all of these plants started off good but now they're starting to die I do not know why but I think it has to do with like the humidity and stuff um, everything else seems fine uh, these are just regular vines that you would buy at the pet store um, yeah they're just kind of twisted around each other and just pretty much look kind of natural and I think I'm gonna put some tree frogs in here uh, just some regular tree frogs green tree frogs gay tree <laughs> gray tree frogs um, I'll be hearing about that in the comments, um, but, yeah, here is their new setup, and all of my axolotls, hope you like them.